and we are confident that history can do no other than award us the victory in any contest in which ideas are the weapon. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by NewHampshireFreePress.com Here's an interesting message from New Hampshire's pro-liberty cop. Brad Jardis works for Epping PD and is nearly the only active policeman who is openly a member of law enforcement against prohibition. This is an excerpt of his message, with some parts cut out. Writing on forum.freekeen.com, Jardis says, quote, I have been rereading the New Hampshire Constitution carefully. I have come to a conclusion in reading the document I am sworn to defend. It is unconstitutional for the state to take action against a sick person who decides to use medical marijuana to treat a medical condition. I will never arrest a person who possesses, uses, grows marijuana to treat a medical condition, and neither should any other NHLEO who intends to follow his or her oath. I won't even take it from them. Legal argument. Short of filleting the entire NH General Court and the governor, political activists in this state have done everything to present factual evidence to support allowing sick people to use natural substances to ease suffering. I personally have begged the General Court not to make me arrest sick people. Chief DEA Administrative Law Judge Francis Young ruled in 1988, Marijuana in its natural form is one of the safest therapeutically active substances known. It would be unreasonable, arbitrary, and capricious of the DEA to continue to stand between those sufferers and the benefits of the substance. 4. Article 10 of the New Hampshire Constitution reads as follows. Right of revolution, government being instituted for the common benefit, protection, and security of the whole community, and not for the private interest or emolument of any one man, family, or class of men. Therefore, whenever the ends of government are perverted, and public liberty manifestly endangered, and all other means of redress are ineffectual, the people may, and of right, ought to reform the old, or establish a new government. The doctrine of non-resistance against arbitrary power and oppression is absurd, slavish, and destructive of the good and happiness of mankind. A sick person continuing to suffer because a state forbids them from using a scientifically proven safe therapeutic substance is absurd is slavish, is destructive of the good and happiness of mankind. I won't do it. You know who I am, you know where I work, and I am not afraid of you. My word, my oath, is to the people, not the tyrants who want them to suffer." Unquote. That's Brad Jardis writing on forum.freekeen.com. So, a cop who will not be arresting people for medical marijuana. But, presumably, this isn't going to sit well with his bosses or the state and federal bureaucracy. Jardis will eventually be attacked again by one of the above, and will need our support when it happens. So that the next attack, like the hearing which was meant to fire him, turns out to be a boon for the freedom movement and an embarrassment for the authorities. <laughs> 